and in today's demo we're going to build an Azure instance using Ansible. So having the ability to build virtual machines using Ansible in any cloud is a powerful tool. And in this demo I'm going to show you how to build a VM in Azure using Ansible on a Ubuntu 20 server. So as far as I can see there was no one document I could follow that would show me what I'm about to show you. It's split across maybe three or four documents and you need to keep going backwards and forwards between the different documentation to create the server credentials, the Ansible VM, it's, it's a bit of a tricky process. Um, but the most important part is probably the credentials. So once you've got them set up, you can actually do more. And creating the VM is just something that gives us a purpose for the demo. So there's quite a few steps, it's quite busy. The first thing we're gonna do is set up a free account on Azure, and you can do this yourself. Then we're gonna install Ansible, Python free pip, the Azure Ansible collection. In fact, we're actually gonna install the module for Azure. Then we're gonna create a service, uh, install Azure CLI, create the service principle, get the account details that we need for the credentials, test the connectivity, create a resource group, write the playbook that's going to build our VM in Azure, and then delete the resource group. And remember, always read the documentation. Okay, so first things first is create an Azure account. All the links are going to be in the description. Go there, create an account. You can't do anything without that. Right, once you've got your account, um, we are going to start following through. Right, okay, so I have a new server. It's only been up for a few minutes, just to prove it's Ubuntu 20. This is actually in AWS, which is kind of ironic. I'm going to build an Azure server from here. Um, and then I'm going to provide you with all the links in the in the chat, uh, in the description, but I'm going to run through it um, command by command. Okay. So let's get started. So always start with an update. There's lots of these different um, links to, to the Microsoft Docs and they're, they're very useful. Um, but the information that you need is sort of in a different place. So you have to go looking for it. So that's what I've done is I've looked for it, found all the different places all the information you need is in and I've put all that together in this demo so you can build one server in one process. Okay, we will be flipping between different docs so I can cut and paste different bits out. And again, it'll be in the description for you. Okay. I'm just going to cut and paste these commands because it makes it a little bit easier. Some of them are quite long. So I will, I will again be putting all of the commands into the description so that you can ideally cut and paste exactly what I'm doing and get the same result. That's the important thing. Okay, so just update those, that new repo. Now we're going to install the Azure CLI. So it's sort of two components. I'm going to use the Azure CLI to create my different parts of the account and the principal, and then I'm going to get that information back out again as my subscription ID, tenant, client ID and, and a password at which I'm then going to use my credentials. And once you've got your credentials, you can go and do whatever you like. Okay, it's almost there. That's a good thing with real-time demos. They can be a bit slow, but feel free just to skip forward to the bit that you want to follow. Okay, now we're going to install Ansible. Just as just a straightforward Ansible. In the docs, they refer to different types, a 2.9 or a 2.10. I'm just using the one that Ansible uh, that's provided in the um, the repos for Ubuntu, and it's it's fine for what we need it for. You can see that's the version. So latish, but not the latest. Now Python install Python free pip, and then we're going to use pip to install the Azure modules, so that so that Ansible can talk to Azure when we call those modules in our playbook.
oh sorry let's do the um yeah the ansible modules for from a for azure so the azure modules for ansible and then we're going to log into azure so this is using the same credentials that you used to create your account or your existing account and it gives you um an option you go to a url and then you put in a code and then you pick your account Okay, that's done. There are alternative methods to doing this if you're unable to get to a URL. This is unique every time you do it. So I'm doing it basically so I can run those Azure commands later. Okay, so once that's done, I can close that. This will finish in a second, so it gives me all my information. Now I'm going to create um, an Ansible RBAC uh, AD account. Okay, and there's my password. I'm going to need some of those details later. So leave them on your screen and we'll scroll back up and get them later. So now we need to assign a role to the app ID. We're going to do the contributor role. So copy this. Also, yours will be different, so put yours in. Okay, so now we get back a whole lot of other information. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to get specific bits out. So we're going to get a tenant and the subscription ID and the client ID. And it just makes it easier to read. And then we're going to go and use these in a minute and update the credentials. So Azure has a credentials file just like AWS. So dot .azure in your home directory slash credentials. And I'm just going to cut and paste these in because the way I'm using it, I can't sort of scroll up while I'm in a VI session. So I'll leave those there. And then I'll just go back to the docs and just try and find. Nope, it's not there. I just want to find the format. So it's in this one. Below there. There it is. So I'm going to copy that, put it into the file, and then just take out all those extra bits and then put my bits in, in its place. So when I do this, I don't use quote marks. I don't use double quotes. Um, and I've never had any problem. Feel free to leave yours in. But if you get any issues with incorrect login or it doesn't understand it, just take the quotes out. Right, so now populate the client ID and the secret and the tenant and the subscription as with your details. I'll come back for the secret in a minute. Right, so delete the lines I now don't need and we'll just scroll back up and I'll get my password okay again no quote no quotes but then and save that fast that should be our credentials file if you make any typos you're going to get some errors when you try and run the next bit so now what we're going to do is create a test resource group using one of the Azure modules so this is there we go, yeah, so we're using Ansible to use the Azure resource group module and we'll create this source. Let me log into that Azure. Sign in. Okay, so now my account. Nope, portal, there we go. And then just click on resource groups and we should see test one two three four there it is okay so that was just a test so that test that the connectivity is working we have the right credentials we can connect to our account now what we're going to do we're just going to adjust this and do state equals absent that's equals absent not colon and then that will then go and destroy it now this takes a second and it's gone sometimes it gets stuck so if you just hit enter on the command line it then gives you the output so right so we're good so that doesn't there anymore so now we're going to make an azure directory and we're going to create an azure yaml file okay so now we're going to go to the git the github page for the azure um the microsoft azure guide and then i'll have it ready at the top again this will be in the description for this url 
and it is the latest. So we're going to use some of this, not all of it. So it has some information about how to connect, setting up principles, um, environment variables, what we just did with the credentials.yaml. And as you scroll down, we're going to use all of this, but not all of it. So because we're not using a collection, we're using the module, we don't need to use the Azure section at the front. So it has Azure's or azure.az collection where and using the module section which is azure rm section so if you cut it you will need to make some adjustments so i've already got one that i've made earlier with all the adjustments i need but it's literally just removing that and also indenting it because i'm making it into a playbook and i'm not running it as a role i need to add some stuff to the top which i'll show you in a sec oh. so what happens i just need to do set paste to stop that and then paste back in again. Okay, now back up to the top. So we have to create all these different individual items. So you have to add in your name, your host, and your tasks. And then beneath that, we have all the different resources that we're going to create. So we have to create a storage account, a virtual account, a subnet, IP address, VM, uh, a NIC. It's all in there. But you need to create all of these individual accounts underneath your against your account, and then you can create it. So one thing you have to do is you have to have a separate um, storage account name so it has to be unique so I've called mine 123 Ansible Demo 123 you need to change yours you're also going to use that same command uh, the same name further down in the VM creation here on the storage account so again you just put the same name in there I've got username and password there change your VM size so this is what I'm using and again we're not using the Azure collection so make sure you take those out Okay, so now we're ready to, oh, so before we have to do, you might have noticed that there was a testing group. So we need, I'm just going to go and create that testing group now. So it's not presented very well on the screen there, but it's the testing group. So if we now just quickly check the doc, uh, the, we can see that the resource group is testing. So I've just created that. That now exists in Azure because it said it succeeded. And now we're going to run the playbook and create our VM. Okay, it's running on localhost, so that's absolutely fine. So if we go to the resource group and update, we can see that testing is there. We click on testing, and what we'll do is we'll come back and refresh a bit. We'll see that the storage account, we'll see the resources get created in Azure. There is a bit of a lag, and I think I might have to press enter a few times at different points to get it to finish showing me the output. Okay, so it is creating the different um, resources. I'll just keep refreshing, it will turn up in a second. Right, I'll refresh the whole page. Okay, so it's now I'm creating the virtual machine. Ah, so there they all are. Got all my resources starting to get created. So just wait for the virtual machine to pop in. And there it is. So this will be finished in a second. Right, okay. So we're done. Okay, so we now need to go to home and then virtual machines. And now you can see that if you click on it, you get an IP address, a public IP. There it is, so if you can cut paste it above, in the box above, clipboard, and now we're going to SSH onto that. So let me just cut the Azure file. You can see at the bottom there, there's the admin user and admin password. So SSH to the IP address. Come back and then add that username in, so YouTube demo. YouTube demo at, and then the IP address. Yes. And now cut and paste the password in, or write it, wherever you decided. And we are logged in. So now let's become root on our new server, password again. So we're in, we've got root credentials, we're full control of the server. So you have now created a VM in Azure using Ansible on Ubuntu 20. So these are all the steps, you know, configure it how you want, obviously make the changes that you need. This is just for demo purposes. You know, we've done a CentOS 7, you'll need to investigate the different 
um, OS is available and how to change that. But you, you just it's just going to be a Google search or information in Azure. So that's great. So once now that we've created it, I'm going to destroy it. So if we go back to the resource group, into testing, I like to select everything on the left and then just do a delete resource group, put in the name of the resource group, and then delete. And that will then start to delete. So I'll come out of the server, keep refreshing for a bit. Still running. It does take a while, you know, as your resources do take a little while to go, which is fair enough. I think AWS is a bit quicker. But yeah, like I say, go back to the docs, familiarize yourself with it. I've had to use different bits from different docs to get this as a succinct process, but hopefully it will get you up and running. Again, all the information is going to be in the description and hit subscribe. You know, I'm, I do loads of these videos and if you find it useful, then just, you know, come back to me. Okay, and then they start to go. So I doubt if anyone's actually hung around to the end, but nice one. If you do, thanks very much. <laughs> I'll let that go. Right, they're going, they're going. Nearly gone. Right, it's gone. The resource is no longer there. Brilliant. So back to resource groups. It's not there. So I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.